The Naturalist mod adds in a ton of interactive and purpose-designed mobs into Minecraft. There is a working food chain, sleep cycle, and other behaviors which give the animals their own personalities. So, let's begin. There are four bird variants in this mod, the Cardinal, the Blue Jay, the Robin, and the Canary. Birds are passive and they will fly around aimlessly, but prefer flying to leaf blocks if they are nearby. Birds will fly away from the player unless the player is holding seeds. They can be tamed by feeding them seeds. Once tamed, interacting with a bird makes it sit down and stand up. A tamed bird follows the player unless told to sit and may teleport if there is a sufficient distance between them and the player. Birds have no baby form and cannot be bred. When a bird is killed, it drops one to two feathers. Boars spawn naturally in savanna biomes in groups of four. Boars can be tempted and bred with carrots, potatoes, or beetroots. Adult boars are neutral and will not attack the player unless provoked. Baby boars are always passive. When provoked, boars will attack the player until the boar reaches half HP, and when below half HP, boars will quickly run away from the player. Boars drop one to three raw pork chops on death. Butterflies spawn naturally in forest and plain biome categories, in groups of 1 to 3. Butterflies wander around in search of plants that they can pollinate. A butterfly carrying pollen drops pollen particles. Butterflies that have pollen will search for nearby crop blocks. Upon reaching the crop block, they will accelerate its growth. Butterflies follow players around holding flowers. If butterflies are given a flower, they enter love mode and pair up to create a caterpillar. When a caterpillar is ready to form a chrysalis, it will climb up into a nearby tree and form the block. A chrysalis takes approximately one in-game day to grow into a butterfly. Deer will spawn in forest biomes in groups of one to three. If a player approaches a deer and it is not sneaking, the deer will run away. Deer will also run away from grizzly bears and all monsters. If a deer is attacked, it will panic and cause all nearby deer to panic and run away from the threat. Deer graze grass blocks, changing them into dirt blocks. Baby deer graze grass much more often than adults. When a baby deer grazes, it gets a slight boost in its growth. Deer can be bred using apples, after which they spawn a baby deer. Adult deer drop 0 to 1 antlers and 1 to 2 venison. Elephants spawn naturally in savanna biomes in groups of 2 to 3. If they are nearby a water source, they will occasionally walk over to drink from it. During the sunniest hours of the day, elephants will fling dirt up onto their back, though this behavior is purely aesthetic. Elephants are scared of bees and will run away from them if they are nearby. Elephants can exist in a passive or hostile state. The babies are passive and the adults are hostile when provoked or if approached by the player when a baby is nearby. Elephants cannot be bred and they drop one to three leather on their death. Fireflies will spawn in areas with a light level less than eight in groups of two to three. Fireflies are passive and will fly around aimlessly at night or in dark areas. They glow at random intervals, and when it becomes daytime or their environment gets brighter, fireflies will hide in nearby tall grass. If they cannot find tall grass within 30 seconds, they will despawn with some particles. They will drop 0 to 1 glow goop after dying. Giraffes spawn naturally in savanna biomes in groups of 3 to 4. Giraffes can be temporarily tamed and ridden for 30 seconds by feeding them an apple. After the 30 seconds are up, the giraffe will knock off the player. If the player is holding a map while riding a giraffe, the map will have a 50% increased radius when being filled in. Giraffes can be bred with hay blocks. Grizzly bears spawn in forests and taiga biome types in groups of 1 to 2, the second one being a cub. Grizzly bears are neutral, but the cubs are completely passive. Adults go aggressive if players go near their cubs or if they are provoked. Attacking an adult with a cub aggros any other nearby adults in the area. Grizzly bears attack nearby deer, cod, salmon, and tropical fish. If a grizzly bear is holding food, it will not attack nearby mobs or the player. The player can lead grizzly bears with salmon, cod, tropical fish, honeycomb, or sweet berries. Nearby grizzly bears will start sniffing and following the player. Feeding any of these items to the bears will cause them to breed. If there is a fully grown sweet berry bush or bee nest nearby, adult grizzly bears seek it out while sniffing before harvesting and eating the contents. They will also steal and eat food from campfires. Grizzly bears sleep for half of the day at two separate times. They can also be sheared for bear fur, but they will aggro when sheared. When killed, grizzly bears will only drop the item they were holding in their mouth. Hippos spawn naturally in savanna and jungle biomes in groups of 3 to 4. They will only spawn on grass blocks that are directly adjacent to water. 
Hippos will attack boats and players that are in the water. They swim as fast as the players so they cannot be easily outrun in water. Hippos can be bred by feeding them a melon block item, but they will only breed if they are in water. Lions spawn naturally in savanna biomes in groups of 3 to 5. Every group will have exactly one male adult leader which has a mane and exactly two female adults which have no mane. During the early morning, lions will wander around in groups and they sleep from noon to evening. Lions can exist in a passive or hostile state. The babies are passive and the adults are hostile when provoked. At night, lions will hunt nearby rhinos. When a lion spots a target, it will start crouching and moving towards it slowly. When the lion gets close enough to its target, it will start running fast towards it and attack it repeatedly. Rhinos spawn naturally in savanna biomes in groups of 1 to 2. If a player approaches a rhino near its baby, the rhino will scrape its foot on the ground 4 to 5 times and then charge at the player in a straight line. The rhino's charge can be blocked with a shield, which will stun the rhino for 3 seconds. If provoked by an entity other than the player, rhinos will not execute their charging behavior and will use standard melee attacks instead. Upon death, rhinos will drop 1 to 2 leather. Snails spawn in most biomes in groups of 1 to 3. When approached by players, they will hide in their shells. Snails can be picked up using an empty bucket, and snails picked up with a bucket and respawned do not despawn. If the player jumps on a snail, it will get crushed and die. This can be prevented by using boots enchanted with feather falling or giving the snail a custom name. Snails will drop 0 to 1 snail shell after dying. Snakes spawn in many biomes, they are neutral and will attack if they feel threatened. They have a chance to spawn with a rabbit's foot, slime ball, feather or raw chicken in their bellies. The alligator spawns naturally in swamps and mangrove swamps, they can be bred with a variety of meats and after being bred they will find a spot to lay their eggs. They attack any entity that come within range of their eggs and they will attack any entity that enters water with them. They drop reptile hide upon death which can be crafted into two leather. The bass is a fish which spawns naturally in swamps, mangrove swamps and rivers. They will drop bass when defeated. They can be bucketed also. The catfish hunts and kills other small fish but does not currently eat them. They drop catfish when defeated and they can be bucketed. The dragonfly can be fed to frogs to obtain crimson azure or verdant glass. The dragonfly also spawns in swamp biomes and can be fed to frogs to obtain crimson azure or verdant frog glass. The lizard also spawns in swamp biomes and can be tamed with spider eyes. They cannot be bred and they drop their tail when on low health. The tortoise spawns naturally in various biomes. A few are desert, jungle and swamps. They can be tamed and bred with dandelions, brown mushrooms, bamboo or cactus. After breeding, they will find a spot to lay their eggs. The duck can be bred with a variety of fish items. Occasionally, they will lay duck eggs which can be cooked into cooked eggs alongside normal chicken eggs. They drop raw duck and they have a chance to drop a feather upon death. Vultures will spawn naturally in savanna, desert and badlands biomes in groups of 2 to 4. If a rotten flesh item is nearby, vultures will swoop down and pick it up. After 30 seconds, the vulture will eat the rotten flesh. If vultures currently aren't holding rotten flesh, they will attack nearby monsters that drop rotten flesh to get some. If a nearby player has low health, less than 6 HP, vultures will swoop down and grab whatever item the player is holding in their main hand. The stolen item can be retrieved by either killing the vulture or if there is a rotten flesh item dropped on the ground which the vulture will happily pick up in favour of whatever item it is currently holding. Zebras spawn naturally in savanna biomes in groups of 2 to 3. Zebras behave similarly to horses but with a few key differences. They have a much higher base speed than horses, they have a much lower jump height than horses, they move slightly faster than horses in water, and untamed zebras will run away if the player gets too close without crouching and holding food, similar to how cats and ocelots are tamed. Tamed zebras can be equipped with a chest. And that will do it for the Naturalist mod. It's a fantastic mod guaranteed to add more spice and variety to Minecraft, especially in those bleak biomes without many mobs. They are guaranteed to be teeming with life thanks to this mod now. The mod, as always, is available to download down in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.